Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. I want to share a couple verses from the Apostle Peter, the guy who stuck his foot in his mouth a lot when Jesus was around, but then he wrote some letters, and they're pretty serious. He, I don't think he sticks his foot in his mouth so much when he's writing. And I'm not sure that he really likes it that we talk about that all the time. But anyway, in view of all of this, God's mercy and grace and everything else that's going on in the world, and he says, make every effort to respond to God's promises. So God's made these promises. Respond to them. Don't say, oh, yeah, that's nice that you, you made these promises. Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence. Oh, so we should purposefully have moral excellence in our life. And moral ex excellence with knowledge. Knowledge is important. I'm going to share a little story in a little bit. Knowledge is very important. And to knowledge, add self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, patient endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. So we can just talk about love, but it's got to be tied in with moral excellence, with perseverance, with all these different things. And he goes on to say that, that if you don't do that, it's kind of like you're being short-sighted. So I had this experience a number of years ago. Some of you might have heard about this, but I was, I was having surgery on my nose. I was having surgery right here. And... Uh, so I went in for the biopsy, and the, the nurse, she was really nice. She was really friendly. You know, it's kind of like that love and brotherly affection. She knew my cousin Greg. You know, we're chatting. Glyman's a pretty uh, unique last name. Most people that have it are related to me. And we're chatting, and, you know, and she's, she probably says this is going to sting a little bit. Oh, my goodness. She took the syringe, which was full, and she puts it into my nose. Now, I don't have the biggest nose around, but there's not much to the nose. And she starts to, to squirt it in, and it's, I cannot describe it. Heidi thinks it's funny when I try to describe it because she's had four children. And this only lasted for maybe 15 seconds. But then the Novocaine or whatever the actual substance is was breaking through the membranes on the inside of my nose, going down my throat, and, and I thought, how should I be doing this? I, it was, I was in agony. Then. About a week later, I came back for the surgery, which means I'm seated in the same chair that I was for the biopsy, only now I know what's coming. I know what's coming. I'm going to get this shot in the nose. And I'm just like, you're crazy to be sitting here. And with God as my witness, while I'm sitting there, the song by Sheryl Crow, she didn't write it, but the first cut is the deepest comes on. I'm like, you should not have that playing in the surgeon's office like this. And then Hurt So Good by John Mellencamp. Well, anyway, I got through all that, but just looking forward to it was the worst. Well, you may have known that I've had radiation on my nose right here in this past couple months. And I was all ready and set. I'd gone to see my, my dermatologist, and he's like, I'm going to send you over to the radiologist. But they said, before we can do it, we need to do a biopsy. And it's like the hair in the back of my neck is standing up. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know I was going to, not today. I'm just like, I'm, I'm listening for Mellon Camp. I'm listening for Sheryl Crow. I'm, I'm, but I really didn't have time to worry. And I don't chit chat with my dermatologist all that much. But he, he took the syringe, and I'm just kind of like, I'm looking at it. He's like, ah, 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 you know, kind of three stooges. I didn't feel it. He, but I could tell he, he like, poke my nose five times and just put just a tiny little bit in there. And then he takes out a scalpel and just done. I didn't feel anything. My point to the story, I'm glad that when he went to learn to become a dermatologist and a surgeon to some degree, that he took that part seriously and he listened when they told him how to use a syringe in someone's nose. This other person was very friendly, but I wish she had listened when they said how to use a syringe instead of taking like this plunger and just going like that with the whole thing and then I could feel it in the back of my brain I was really glad of that 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 he knew what he was doing the other thing I want to say is that sometimes it's good to not have much time to fear something and it was great that day so I say all that to say Let's be people who add the right things to our repertoire, that we don't just be friendly, but we be knowledgeable, or not just knowledgeable, but that we really love people and we persevere. Take a moment, check out these verses from Peter, and um, beware, yeah, don't, don't go near her. Have a great day.